charging an insulator. I have here a balloon. I'm going to rub it with fur to build up a static charge on the balloon. And that charge is sufficient for the balloon to stick to the wall. Now, even though the wall is an insulator, it's acting like it has an opposite charge to the balloon to make it attract. The way we explain how the wall is acting like it has a charge, we say that the insulator becomes polarized with a charge separation. Looking at my animation here, the balloon has an excess positive charge on it, and as I bring it towards the wall, the atoms in the wall are rotating, so the negative side of the atom is pointing towards the balloon. That builds up sufficient attraction for the balloon to stick to the wall. The atoms near the wall are rotating, but they do not move. The way polarization is different than inducing a charge, inducing a charge happens inside a conductor that has free electrons that are actually attracted and move towards the charged object. In this case, because the wall is an insulator, it has no free electrons, and therefore the electrons are not allowed to move. They are bound to the atoms. They're just rotating so the negative side is facing the same direction as the balloon.